And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And coming up for you, action from the Zweite Bundesliga. It's Eintracht Braunschweig and they face Holstein Kiel. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing-backs will push further forward to make it a 3-5-2. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, in this formation, the wide centre-backs need to be good all-round players, both in possession and defensively. They have to defend the box and also get out into the wide areas to cover the wing-backs. And the game begins. Keita Endo. Well, nicely cut out. Vriet. Well, no stopping him. Can he convert? Well, the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And a struggle to get it away properly. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. They'll repeat the trick. Corner. Well, the short corner routine. A foul, but advantage played. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. An alert piece of defending. Winsheimer. It did look on for them, but not to be. Zander. Plenty of support here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Endo. Krause. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. 
Good refereeing, waiting for a natural pause before booking him. Well, let's look at this again because it gets better and better each time you see it. It's perfect technique, lots of movement on the ball and nothing the opposition can do about this apart from don't give free kicks away. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Jan Hendrik Marx. Keita Endo. That's useful play. Krause. Endo. A chance to whip it in. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Keita Endo. And thwarted there following the cross. Well, the away side haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Fried. Steven Skripski. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take. Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass it into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker and be more positive in 1v1 situations, I think they'll get back into this. Holtby. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute and blocked for now. And there it is, the half-time whistle. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So back underway here into the second half. Committed challenge. Steven Skripski. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Keita Endo. Donkor. De Carli has it. Anthony Uja. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? It might be on for them. Must score! Marvellous anticipation! Schultz. Nicely cut out. 
Fabio Kaufmann. Thirty minutes to go then. Becker. Teammates available. Zander. It needs an accurate cross. Well, just the tackle that was needed. And a throw in forthcoming. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Fried. Patrick Eras. Oh, in with a chance. In it goes. Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Well, they've decided to make a change. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Perai. Just 20 minutes remaining now. since they have the ball the referee playing advantage here Leon Lauerbach this looks promising out wide Lorenz Patrick Eras Just cutting off the supply. Krause. Emmanuel Perai. And Uja has it. Nathan de Medina. Winsheimer. Failed to keep hold of it. So the final whistle almost upon us and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, they've been second best, that's for sure. And the main problem has been in midfield where they've been overrun at times. They just haven't been able to get enough possession. It's not been a good performance today. Timely intervention. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Finn Porat. Vriet. With the try. And off the post. And pushed onto the woodwork. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the board in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. We're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, I thought his all-round game was excellent. It was his ability to find space that impressed me most. And with a bit more luck, he could have had a second one today.